not very far to go here, just across the little baby stream, and there's the oak tree right up there. So, I figure it's Friday afternoon, let's go up and see if we can't get at least one log, maybe a couple logs, back to the mill. And I may or may not cut them up in this video, I don't know. We'll have to just wait and find out. I don't know if the camera does it any justice. I gotta go up this big hill to get up there. It's got a little bit of an angle. So pretty much how I'm going up here is how I've got to come down with a log on the forks unless I hook it to the uh, rear end and drag it out. But if I can avoid getting dirt in the log, then I try to do that. It's a pretty steep hill right here. But I basically got to come backwards just like this down the hill with a log. I just want to kind of get some of that right there untangled at least laying down the ground if not the big section cut off and then there is a log up there it's kind of got a crook to it but I think before the crook there's a, a section there that would make a log <laughs> my breath real quick here you see that one right there was pressuring against that tree and that right there was pushing against that tree there that upper piece you got to go nice and slow and there's still that's why I was cleaning the logs out so I had places to get a, a way to get loot away you see there's a big Y and a piece that goes that way it's just the, the this is a lot of tree and a lot of things that go wrong really fast so I got to be careful how I dissect it apart here. But I'm after that log right there. There's a log section there. And then I think I might try to keep this crotch section right here all as one piece, even though that section right there might be turned. But my thought is to get this one section out whole, at least to right in there. If I do that, I think it'll set down to where I'm comfortable. Well, that'll be up in the air. And then I can go ahead and get that upper section if I got enough gas in the saw at the moment. So let me get the tractor repositioned and you guys and we'll get to cut and see what happens. That's going to make some interest in uh, lumber. When a branch comes off on an angle like that, I make what they call branch spurs. I'll put it on the mill and cut through on an angle. Make some really cool looking stuff. So I will, for time savings, I will see you guys at the mill. Is I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get this piece here and that beautiful big log. Oh. Well, guess what I did? I'm looking at you guys and I tripped over the saw. But I'm back up and I'm uh, rolling along. Yeah, I can't keep me down too long. But that is a beautiful chunk of wood right there. But I gotta get all this out of the way and quit tripping over the saws. That piece right there, I'm just gonna pull off with the chain, I'll wrap a chain around it. I'm not gonna get underneath it and try to cut it and all that stuff. The tractor will pull it off. But like I said, that's the chunk I wanna cut off there. And uh, we'll have that piece and that crazy piece right there to play with at first. The rest of this stuff, a lot of this is gonna get cut up. But you look over there, there's a big straight section. 
the part that split will get cut off. There's another big mill log, possibly one down there. And then look at that big section right there. All right in there, look at all those little bumps. Those are uh, healed over uh, branches. So that will make some really neat looking logs, but we got to get that off first. All right, and I made you, oh my goodness. Wow, that's interesting. I had you upside down, but I think the camera corrected it. out of the way man look at that isn't that gorgeous hopefully you guys saw all that I don't have the I don't have the person that uh, moves the camera around for me so sometimes I goof up and you guys aren't in the video and that happens but it looks like we got you got me man it's a big tree for me it's a big tree I don't know that section right there I'm gonna do a little something with it but not today but the section I just cut is what's gonna go to the mill and while I got a little bit of gas in the saw that big crotch section the part where I just cut off I'm gonna attempt to go above there and just go ahead and cut what I can till I possibly run out of gas and uh <laughs>
Well, the GoPro's acting up like normal. <laughs> I was trying to talk to you guys and explain something to you. I looked down and it was uh, locked up like usual. I did get that log cut. That's a pretty heavy log. Hopefully I can lift it. That right there is probably, it's got some crotch sections in it. I may cut that other section on the end off, but there's some, there's some good material in there. Definitely two good logs in that section right there. Probably two more in that other section. There's at least one. It's got a sweep to it, but there's probably one, like maybe nine, ten footer. And then there's a big section up there once we cut the crack part off. But the biggest problem is getting that down. Um, I was pushing on it with a tractor. And that's still got some fibers holding on to it. So I may be able to go up there and, and cut that section off right before the crotch. And the whole thing will just fall over here and I'll be standing on the other side. So that will be another video. There's going to be quite a few videos come out of this tree. Because it's going to take a little bit to get this thing cut up and out of here. A lot of nice firewood though. Yep, so let's go to the mill and we'll go ahead and mill this, this log up here. I don't even know how long it is because, uh, well, it didn't matter because I cut it the way it had to be cut. So it is what it is. And this is how we get down backwards. See, I thought a slight angle. If I went down forward, I'd have these things rolling off the forks or sliding off left and right. So we're just going nice and slow. Back down the hill, no little turnaround spot here. I think it'll be all right. Not too much of an angle once I get turned around. See right here where it angles like this, you run the risk of that wall coming off the front of it. I have to do like a four point turn here. <laughs> I hope it doesn't, uh, this is a small log, so it's not that big a deal. When I get them big logs though, I gotta watch it. They're a little rolling off of there. Let's go to the mill. Well, good morning, folks. Top of the morning to you. The uh, Red Oak Saga begins. Uh, this is one of the logs that I got down from the uh, big oak tree that fell up in the woods. And uh, you will have seen by this point some of the tree as I got working on cutting it up. So here's kind of a few logs I got here to the mill i do have two more logs up in the woods that are cut and those are going to be firewood most likely there's a third one that's underneath it a little bit that i need to pull out i think it'll pull out pretty easy and then here's the ones i got here so far that one will be kind of interesting with all the broke off and healed over branches it will either be good looking or maybe weak uh, it's hard to say, but you can see how the tree started to die on the outside. This, and there is one more section of the tree that I did not take yet. That, uh, well, it, it was a side that died. It had died a couple years back and was dying, so it's a little more punky. But I think, based on one of the logs I cut, that we'll be okay with, by the time I slab it, and get to the cant uh, we'll be okay so i'm gonna take a few cuts off of this real quick just so we can all see the pretty wood that i'm working my butt off to get this tree it that the to get up to the the tree is is a good 35 percent grade at least and it's on a slight lean so you're going up you get to the top it kind of straightens out a little bit so the only way i can really get down using the having the log on the forks is to back down which is not horrible it's only probably you know 70 yards or so um so let's go ahead and slice into this get a few boards off of it take a peek at it warm the tractor up warm the mill up and then we got rain supposedly coming from like thursday wednesday thursday friday which is fine I got plenty of shop work to do, um, but I want to get up and get as much of this tree down. I have a staging area just across the, the creek there, down by the rental property, where I stage logs. So I can, a lot of times I'll, I'll log them and get them out and stage them there. And then when I'm ready to take them to the, cut them on the mill, I bring them up here because I got limited space. So you'll see all that in a bit. So let's get to cutting this log right here. I mean, the redwood is absolutely beautiful, so let's just see what's in there. We are still 
using that timber dog I got the hat on he sent me blade but it has cut a lot of uh, log so we'll see how good it does redwoods a little uh, red oak is a little little bit softer so I may be able to get some cutting done with it I don't want to over abuse the blade when it starts getting dull because it just makes for a lot harder job to sharpen it um, there's no sense in doing that so it's the timber dog seven degree blade I got from Jerry's Resharp. So I haven't got the four degrees yet and some of the other ones, but hopefully they'll come soon and we'll better get on that monster uh, pecan log. It's, it, you've probably seen it as I walk by. It's big, it's huge. So I guess we'll be rebuilding that with some seals here soon. It doesn't look that complicated. if I can get its attention up so what happens is it keeps losing and then I can't tension it because I, I can only go in so far with the tensioner as the blade stretches and I'm right at the end of that so I'm gonna put my gloves on I got a few cuts that hurt a little bit stuff right there I'll take it off and let you look at it I actually let's bring the forks over here not uh be hard on my back or shoulders today here in a second but I'll show you some of the how far the log had kind of started dying in took a nice big old chunk it's about two and a quarter inches so we'll start cut we'll cut another one off here in just a second
Yeah, blade tension is way down. That belt or <laughs> that uh, blade has stretched quite a bit. Um, probably could keep going if my blade tensioner wasn't acting up a little bit. But it was doing pretty good at first. So like I say, the blade is stretching. You don't want to stretch them too far, push them too far. They start getting like that and you just need to go ahead and change them so that you can resharpen them and they're not overly stretched. But let's, uh, let's blow this off here. Take a peek at it. I'm not gonna take these. I'm not ready to take those off right yet. Um, I did kind of pull my shoulder a little bit over the, I guess it was late Friday when I was taking this thing out of the woods. So I was running those big chainsaws. I can run them, but my shoulder uh, lets me know it ain't happy with it. So at least we got a peek of what's going on here. Set that on the box. So there's how pretty those are. And you can see it started getting a little bit of death in this one. But this is one of the better sections here. Um, we haven't, I got, I got to get some of the sections that are uh, a little bit older. But they're actually holding the main trunk up in a precarious way. So I've got to be really careful how I cut it down because it's going to roll so let's go up there i got one log already stationed down at the little mill area or the little staging area sorry mill area ah it's a monday morning there's my hardwood slab pile and then way back there is all the regular wood which i try to get rid of and sell or i give it away to some people so let's go get uh some more of that tree and see what i can get into this morning